So, it has been a while, and I'm going to tell you why. This is another update. I'm Ozzy Griffin. I should really get an intro section or something. Anyway, um, so basically, my friend in South Korea is alive. She's morbidly depressed, and I'm still worried about her. However, you can't beat the feeling of relief you get from just knowing someone's alive. She's arguably one of the most beautiful people I know. And I'm just glad she's alive. Thanks for all the support I got from everybody and... Yeah. Feels really good. Anyway, and better news, better news. I got a, I had a friend staying with me for uh, about a month, a bit over a month, and my, uh, what do you call it? And yeah, he had to leave because we couldn't uh, bring him in here. I don't know if you can, no, you can't see it in this video. However, I, there's usually a pool, rack of pool cues behind me. Uh, they're all gone. Ladies and gentlemen, they are all gone. Because we're going to take down this wall behind me. And we're going to re-sculpt this area into a larger bedroom with an ensuite bathroom with a view out to the mountains. Or if you can kind of see it from the window behind me. It's, uh, it's a really, really nice... It's a really, really nice addition we're doing. The only thing we've got to do now is get rid of the pool table, which this is actually sitting on. Wish was luck. Anyway. So my friend who was staying with me uh, here for about a month is... Uh, he's got a new job. A friend of a friend got him in at uh, an IT company which he has excellent skills at. He's got at least four months probation there. And I do not see him screwing that up. He's got kids over in the States. He's got issues with his uh, missus, unfortunately. However, they're working through it. And today he told me the first best news I've heard from him today, which is not just that he got the job, however, that he has oriented on the kids. Need I say more, ladies and gentlemen. Anything they'll do, they're, they're talking, good. They're working stuff out, even better. And they're oriented towards the kids. Best news of the lot. So I got two friends in real bad situations. One of them's got the material stuff to ease up the other stuff. And the other one, she's seeing a therapist via Skype. She's got a psychiatrist there in South Korea who's uh, giving her that French st stuff, SSREs. Now, everyone knows selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, which, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you're on them, for the love of God, if you're gonna stop, don't do it cold turkey. Don't never do it cold turkey. A little at a time, because you got levels of chemicals in your brain that need to compensate for it and you, even when you don't do a cold turkey reducing the dose in any stretch is still going to make you feel a little crazy to say the least it's still going to throw your emotions out of whack so what I uh, what I just want to say to everybody is it's all come up roses so Thanks for being there for me, those of you who were, and everyone who wasn't. I'm safe to talk to now. Expect my next video to be about uh, racism and mental illness. All black clothes videos, you're on.